Sometimes project issues require more detail than you can convey using a push pin and a description. At times like this, BIM 360 Docs provides a tool to create graphical markups. In this session, we'll explore a workflow using the markup feature. As you can see, I've got BIM 360 Docs open, and I'm in a project called Kensington Square. Let's say that I've been doing some stormwater calculations, and I've learned that we need to pick up additional detailed topography to the north and south of our project site. Let's also say that Alan Gilbert is managing the survey for this project, and he's currently out in the field collecting data at a nearby site. I'm going to use BIM 360 Docs to send Alan a detailed description of what I need and see if he can turn the work around by the end of day. To help convey the areas where we need additional topo, I'm going to leverage an InfoWorks model that I've stored in this project. I'll do that by opening the Models folder, and then I'll click to open the InfoWorks model. When this opens, I can roll the mouse wheel forward and back to zoom in and out. I can hold the wheel down to pan, and I can hold the left mouse button down to orbit. I'm going to zoom out, and we'll kind of center the model on screen. To designate the areas needing additional topo, I'm going to create a markup. I'll start by launching the markup command from the toolbar. This displays all of the markup tools. Using the menu at the end, I can create several closed and open shapes and dimensions. I can create freehand line work. There's a highlighter here. I can create arrows and text. The settings option allows me to change the color of the markup and the line thickness and font size. Note we also have an undo and redo option and a delete option. For this example, I think a yellow markup would show up best, so I'm going to select that color. I am also going to increase the line thickness. And then I'll expand this menu on the end, and we'll trace the topo areas using the Poly Cloud tool. I will then start clicking to define the northernmost area. Note that this shape will close itself automatically when I get back to the beginning. When finished, I'll do the same thing to define the area south of the project site. I will then come back to the toolbar. By default, markups are created as private, meaning they're only visible to the person who created them. Using the private option can be a great way to create comments or notes for your own personal use. In this case, I want Alan to see the markup, so I'm going to switch this to published. When a markup is published, it is viewable by all project members. When I'm finished with the markup, I'll click Done. As you can see, I am now in a markup view. Clicking the X will close the view and allow me to continue navigating around in the model. You'll find that the markups in BIM 360 Docs are a lot like issues. On the left side of the screen, I'm going to click to open the markups pane. Here we can see all of the markups associated with this file. Currently we just have the one. If I select a markup from this pane, it will display the markup view on screen. Once again, I'm going to click the X to close this view, and then I'll click to close the markups pane. Okay, one more thing. A markup by itself will not trigger an email notification, so I'm also going to create an issue to ensure Alan is aware of the urgency of this task. I'll do that by opening the Issues pane, and I'll click to create a new issue. I will then click to place my push pin. For the title, I'll call this Need Additional Topo. I will then press Tab to jump to the description, and I'll type, Is it possible to get this topo collected by the end of day? Let's drag this down. I'm going to assign this issue to Alan Gilbert. For location, I'll type see most recent markup for locations. And then for the due date, I'm going to select today. When finished, I'll click create. When I do, BIM 360 Docs creates the issue and triggers an email notification that lets Alan know exactly what is needed. As you can see, using the markup feature, we can easily convey an idea graphically that might have been more challenging to describe using other means. Now, if you'll indulge me for just a second, I'd like to take a quick field trip so we can see how this issue and markup would look from Alan's perspective. Here we can see the email notification Alan received on his phone while in the field. Since Alan is working on a mobile device, he can use the BIM 360 mobile app to respond to my issue. We'll talk more about the mobile app in a future session. In the Kensington Square project, Alan would tap the Issues button and then select My Issue from the list. He could then review the issue, where he'll see that a markup has been created to identify the areas needing additional topo. Notice that the issue also contains a hyperlink that will take him right to the InfraWorks model. In the model, Alan would open the menu in the upper right to view the available markups and select the one containing the topo boundaries. After reviewing the markup, Alan would tap the X to close it and return to the issue. He could then respond by tapping the menu and choosing Answered. Using the voice-to-text feature, Alan could enter a response and then tap Done. At this point, the issue has been assigned back to me along with an email notification. When Alan is finished, he can tap to close the issue, exit the mobile app, and get back to the task at hand. 
Now that we've looked at things from Alan's perspective, let's flip back to my screen. Here, I can see the email notification containing Alan's response to my request, and a confirmation that I will have the necessary topography by the end of day. So, the next time you need to assign a complex or spatial task, consider creating a markup. By leveraging the BIM 360 markup tool set, you can easily convey most any idea using a simple sketch. Would you like to explore additional Autodesk Cloud Collaborative ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the AEC Connection blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.